Welcome back as the war between Israel and Hamas rages on and devastating images continue to be shared on television, social media. So many parents are grappling with ways to talk to their children, whether to talk uh, to their children about everything they may be seeing. And experts say it's really important to have an honest conversation mm -hmm. with the kids. So here with family advice is clinical psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Hi, good morning. Hi, Dr. We've got little kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, teenagers is one thing. I mean, my first question to you is, like, if you've got a nine, a six-year-old, a four-year-old mm -hmm. like we do, do, do you bring it up if they don't bring it up? So it's a really important question. And I think the fact is, is that you might not want to bring it up. And chances are they're learning about it, hearing about it, or seeing it somewhere. Yeah. So you can bring it up in a very casual way. Hey, there's a lot going on in the world. Have you heard anything? Mm -hmm. And they may say, no. And you can go, OK, mm -hmm. well, if you hear anything, please come to me and let's talk about it, mm -hmm. right? But I think we often sit back and let them come to us, whereas I think on this one, you want to get ahead of it a mm -hmm. little bit and talk about it first. Um, I feel like this there's so much information that we're all getting from all over the world that our brains can only process so much anyway yes. and it didn't used to be that way it wasn't like every conflict in every corner of the world hit you in your heart but yes. it is happening mm -hmm. so teenagers are a place where i think it's very kind of fertile ground they need to talk about it but getting a teenager to talk is next to impossible <laughs> so yes. For, for them, for teenagers who may know exactly what's going on, how do you approach? I think what you do is you have to, I would sit down with them, have them show you what they're looking at, right? Say, hey, I know you know what's going on. You're bombarded on social media. What My they brain say, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about well, it. Well, I would, you know, yeah. you, you can kind of be like, I know you don't want to yeah. and let's do it. So yeah. show me where you're getting your news. Tell me what yeah. you're looking at. Yeah. Hey, can you tell me what you're learning? You mm -hmm. know, make it about them giving oh, you the information. Me. You teach me. So that, that you're kind of learning more. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, you want to protect them. So you mm -hmm. have to get that info from them and see what's going on. A lot of schools, I'm certainly in Israel, but also here put out advice saying to parents, keep your kids off social yeah. media, warning them about videos that might surface yes. on, on various social media. What did you think of that advice? Is that the right thing to do? I think it's great advice, but to Hoda's point, mm -hmm. getting teenagers to get off yeah, how are you gonna do is it? gonna be really impossible. So I think it's so important that we lead by example. We minimize what it is. We kind of say to them, mm -hmm. look, I want you to spend some time off your phone. I want you to put it down. I want you to show me when things get overwhelming so that we can talk it through because these are creating trauma reactions for all of us. Mm -hmm. And then we're in heightened space and that's really hard to navigate. What if we, what if we see our teens or our child changing, we know it's got something to do with what's going on. They're not talking about it. Are there things that we could do to help them without directly addressing that? Well, I, yes, and I don't think we should be afraid to directly address yeah. it, right? Hey, I noticed that you seem more irritable. I noticed that you seem more overwhelmed. I'm concerned about you. Tell me what's going on. And for teens especially, we know irritability, increased frustration, some anxiety, some depression. Yeah. Maybe they don't want to go to school, yeah. those kinds of things. I think if we put it on the table as something that's not a big deal to talk about, mm -hmm. you might have a better shot because they feel seen and heard by you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the truth is somehow, even little kids like ours, somehow it gets they get, through. They, they do yeah. know. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, asking those open-ended questions is a good way to start. Dr. Cool. Hartstein, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.